Yo, what's up everybody, Angelus here and welcome back to yet another For Honor video. In today's video, we'll be reacting to the 2017 For Honor Heroes series Xbox North American Finals. <laughs> That's a mouthful. But this is the finals to go to the 10,000 tournament at the Ubisoft event back in 2017. So these are the top two duelists on Xbox back then during that stage of the game. So throughout this week, we're going to be reacting to the rest of this For Honor Heroes series tournament. We're going to showcase the 2017 finals on Xbox at the Ubisoft event. We're going to be reacting to the PlayStation and the PC one. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, have those bell notifications turned on so you don't miss any of these videos. YouTube says 82% of you are not subscribed, which is crazy. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Right, Centurion and Conqueror. It's weird that Seraph chose Conquer to start out with because Seraph was always a Orochi main. So we're spectating Destroyer. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Imagine the For Honor best duel finalists and both guys with about five car breaks off rip. So this is like busted Centurion too. This is like cutscene central Centurion. There's also a time where you get uh, guard breaks off parries, and here comes the cutscene right now. Cutscene! Service out stamina. Kick pressure. <laughs> he dashes, catches him dashing. That's gonna be it. I remember back to this time, this is like these two guys right here were like the two top elite duelists on For Honor for Xbox. I didn't, I didn't ever fight Destroyer as much as I did Seraph of Hope, but Seraph of Hope was on just a completely different level at that time. They don't expect a whole lot of parries during this. I don't think anyone parried a whole lot back then. another cutscene yep oh no cutscene you see that you see how the punches would make him wall splat and gets free heavies off of it now you be you, know, you want to think about bringing that back <laughs> yeah I do know Seraph brings out his Orochi in this fight with a uh, destroyer so this is best hero The destroyer staying next to the wall trying to get the cutscenes. Oh, he missed! Gives a free uh, GB off Barry. He's gonna eat a heavy. Yeah, the destroyer staying next to the wall because that's all he wants is just the cutscene over and over again. It's really easy to do a whole lot of damage. Destroyer's up two zip over Seraph. Now this is elite gameplay back in 2017, guys. This was like right, right there at season three. Nice trap in the corner. Trying his best to get a guard break to cutscene him. That's it. There for this first round. Rep 1, level 12. The most elite Xbox player playing with a Rep 1, level 12 Conqueror. You see how Destroyer is trying to like dash in and out? He's just trying to get Seraph to react and move so he can do that. Get a shield bash so he can miss it and go right into the cutscene. Yep, right there. That one little whiff. Cutscene again. Don't go out of stamina, but it's worth it for the damage. No, he still has stamina. It's crazy. Very good job by Seraph getting around it. Everyone, leave a comment in the comment section. How do you feel about this kind of gameplay back then versus the gameplay on you know the most elite people now? You see a big difference in it. All right, and Destroyer takes first win. All right, so this is game two. Because Destroyer won the first game, he has to remain with Centurion. 
And uh, Seraph has swapped to his main hero, which is the Orochi. Which, Orochi back then? Zone Flicker. The Flicker Zone was really good. You'll know what I'm talking about uh, for a Flicker Zone, because you'll see the red flash up top, and it'll cut down to the zone really quick. Old school Orochi. The most elite Orochi back then. There's not a single Orochi better than Seraph uh, at this time in the game. As I said before, you probably won't see any parries. <laughs> Wall splats off the punch. And the cutscene of fucking doom! <laughs> Centurion back then, man. I haven't seen a flicker zone yet, though. Just destroyers trying to stay near walls and really get the cutscene punishes. And on this map, they didn't have uh, spikes back behind, so destroyers just chilling right there next to the wall. So staying very patient. Seraph up with the health lead. Catches him dashing. Decided to go for a heavy instead of the cutscene. There it is. Did you see that? Did you see the flicker zone? Gets you to react up top, and then the zone comes out. And Destroyer with a two-zip lead. Yeah, so how this works is it's uh, whoever wins best two out of three. So Destroyer won the first set, and this is the second set. If Destroyer wins, you know, another round, then that would be game, set, match, finals. Centurion versus Orochi. Good parry to guard break. Confirm guard break off parry. There it is. Zone, uh, the flicker zone. That's two heavies. Another flicker zone. Oh, a hell of a zone flicker. Exactly. And you can actually do the zone flicker back then on purpose. You could just, uh, whenever you're hitting the zone input on controller, just slightly delay one of them as it goes in, and you can activate the zone flicker. Trying to use the whiff meta so he can <laughs> get a free GB, free heavy. Look how slow all these attacks are, man. Simpler times, right? Zone flow. Oh, he's dangerous. And the Centurion doing what Centurions do. Back then, anyway. Gets a heavy off of it. Plays out of stamina. Oh, and that's it. 2-2. Two, two. Alright, this is the last round. If Seraph loses, that's game and Destroyer goes to the finals. But if Seraph wins, it goes to a tiebreaker round. Or match. If you're wondering why the quality don't look so good on this... 2017. 30 frames. I had a laptop. <laughs> and Seraph with, with a light spam. Oh, and the heavy. He went to parry a light. Got hit I by the heavy. Choked the 3 0 2 0 lead. Going to the final match. All right. Last set Centurion versus Orochi. The. Soft faint of Storm Rush to the GB. It was a soft faint, too. So as soon as it's coming up, you can soft faint right into it. Bad light spam versus guard break spam. Destroyer's playing, I mean, the best way he can. He's trying to play optimal to win, to go to the $10,000 tournament. Trying to stay near a wall and use a cutscene. Oh, he could, could have done the cutscene again, but he elected to go for the heavy. Zone flick.
Oh, oh, it gets through. Seraph using the storm. <laughs> storm rush to uh, try to bait out an attack. Ah, oh, there it was. He went right back to the uh, the soft ink guard break. Zone flick again. Such a strong move. Oh, he could have cutscened him! Zone flick. Oh, two ones. Yeah, so winner of this game, you know, the sets, would uh, go to that $10,000 tournament and face the, uh, the winner from the EU. And now Seraph's standing near the wall, which is weird for Nerochi, because Nerochi don't want to be anywhere near a wall, especially with a Centurion, even to this day. Don't want to do it. Destroyer's trying to take his time. That soft thing again. Lands another heavy. Centurion heavies are really fast in the game. Now, anyway. Chip him in the wall. We got a free little cutscene. Seraph unlock rolls. I remember the way they nerfed unlock rolls too to stop people from doing it. So stupid. Kicks him. That might be it. Good Barry. And Seraph wins. Three one. Well, that's GG guys. Seraph's going to Cali. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it and you like to see this kind of content, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know that you like this kind of content. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, you have no skill and stay dangerous. Peace out.